It seems like everyone won't shut up about Disney Dreamlight Valley. And I don't blame them. This game's amazing. Disney Dreamlight Valley, if you're not familiar, take all the things you love about Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, you add a Disney theme to it, and that is Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm playing this on Xbox because it's on Game Pass, so if you have Game Pass, you already have this game. There is a story where everything used to just be peachy keen, and then all of a sudden the forgetfulness came in and people forgot about stuff. So now it's your job to make them unforget and bring the valley back to the way it used to be. I have Game Pass, I'm playing this on Xbox, and I still purchased it for the PlayStation so I can play it on that too. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> where I'm already playing it on Xbox, yet I also purchased it on PlayStation. Well, that tells you what kind of game it is, I suppose. So here's me in front of my broken house. I'm gonna remodel my house later. I'll, I'll get into that later. But you can customize your character, of course, and you're just going around and doing what you can to bring the valley back to the way it used to be. Now you have these kind of like forgetful patches of thorns. You can eliminate those pretty easily. Just hit the button there. Uh, you'll, and it's a way to also, you know, grab some items along the way too. Sometimes you'll find coins. You might find, you know, like stuff in them that you can use later. There's a whole lot of these around here. In fact, the first part of this game is a whole lot of just doing this. You also have these giant things in the way, and again, like pretty early on, you get all the items you'll need. So you got your magical pickaxe, you can take care of that too. Great way to mine some ore and stuff like that, you know? And because it is a Disney game, there are some characters in here that you'll unlock over time. There's a few ones at the beginning, and then you'll find more and more later as well. You can go fishing. Fishing is one of my favorite parts of this whole game. Pretty fun. Hey, look at that. And then how the friendship scale works with these Disney characters is by hanging out with them, by chatting with them, by doing their side quests with them or helping them with their quests, uh, then it'll, in, it'll raise their meter, you know, raise their experience level in a way. It'll raise your friendship level with these characters, and the higher the friendship is, the more quests get unlocked that you can help them out with their quests. And of course, which will in turn help you out in what you're doing in this game. Simply by hanging out with them, simply by hanging out with them, you can raise that meter. They'll just go along with you for the ride. And if you get, you know, if you do something cool, then you'll get some extra experience that way. If you want to just, you know, if you're if you're doing stuff anyway, you're picking berries, you're digging holes, uh, they're, they'll just be along for the ride and you'll gain some experience that way for them. Unfortunately, you can only have one person hang out at a time. So uh, when I, you know, said, hey, let's hang out with Mickey, then that's when Goofy said, oh, I'll be over the stand. And Goofy does have a kind of item stand. That's where you can sell your items, uh, sell your extra stuff or uh, even buy some stuff too. Now Mickey has a quest for me and the quest is to build this birdhouse. So we need a couple of items here. Let's go ahead and do this together. So we need some softwood and you can find softwood just kind of everywhere. So that shouldn't be a problem to find that. And a certain type of flower and flowers are just kind of everywhere in here too. Flowers are just all over the place and you'll find what you're looking for. They're not gonna give you some weird thing, you know, up front of course, that like there's something that you can't find, right? So here's one of them. I'm sure I'll find another one somewhere. There we go. All right. Now, we don't have enough softwood yet, but I do have this trunk where I've been putting all my extra stuff, so I can always, you know, pilfer from here, too. We got what we need. We find a crafting table. I happen to have one here, but there's also a crafting table at Scrooge McDuck's place, and we'll look at that place in just a moment. If you have the items you need, it'll be highlighted. You can click the button, and there you go. Got yourself a tall birdhouse. Perfect. Put it wherever you want. Well, because it's Mickey's quest, I'll put it right next to Mickey's house. And you can put it wherever you want. You can rotate it. You know, this, this is a good spot. You do that, you talk to Mickey. There you go. Quest fulfilled. Love it. And there are other quests that you can see here. There's like, there's main storyline quests and then there's like the, the side friendship quests. I've been doing more friendship quests than anything, but I should do more of the storyline just to unlock more of this world. Cause this is just a few screens <laughs> of, of how big this area is. Now he's looking for mini and we're trying to unlock more characters. So again, here comes the cooking part. Now you can plant items and all that. Oh, just by doing this, I already gained a level. How cool is that? Go up to the stove and you can pop in any ingredients, whether you know the recipe or not. If you don't know the recipe and it makes something, well, you just learned the recipe. I love how that works. It's not like, oh, you can't make this because you don't have the recipe bug. It's like, no, if you have the ingredients, go for it. And sometimes it's fun just to pop stuff in there to see what happens, you know. Never mind it's boiling, you'll, you know, anything grilled, anything soup, anything this, anything that. It's always uh, done this method where you just put it in the pot. So we need like five of these, good lord. And then fish sandwiches, easy enough. It's any fish and any bread. And now some recipes later on are a specific fish and a specific item or a specific vegetable. But then sometimes, especially these earlier recipes are just literally any vegetable and literally any fish or whatever. And it'll make, you know, kind of the same thing. All right, we got the things we need. We got to find the picnic spot and Mickey's going to take off. And I lost him already. Fortunately, there's a map that tells you where everyone is. Oh, you see Mickey making a mad dash down there. Here we go. Okay. So with more storyline going on. Okay, well, well, we'll we'll come back to that later. Now I'm just wearing some kind of just random basic clothes here, but you can also unlock and purchase more clothing along the way too. So I mean, whatever, however you want to customize yourself, 
they have a lot of options on here for you. And it can, you know, so much more later on in this game too. Different shirts, different pants, different dresses, boots, you know, <laughs> headgear and stuff like that. There's a lot to do with this game. One of my favorite things, I think, is the cooking. And um, I unlocked this Remy quest. There's That comes up, you know, earlier on where you can choose what you wear, where you want to go. I want to do the ratatouille stuff because I love the cooking part. And I like this because if it's going to be a great recipe or maybe not so good recipe, Remy will show you, like, by his uh, reactions or by his, you know, just how he acts and everything. I thought that was kind of cool. And it's a chilled game where you just kind of go around, just, you know, like I said, just like Animal Crossing, just like Stardew Valley, it's a chill game where you just kind of move at your own pace and do what you want when you want to do it. That's what I love about it. We have Scrooge McDuck here. I'm still building a better store, but Scrooge McDuck is your Tom Nook in this game. Not so much with the rent, but as far as like, you know, to buy stuff, uh, there's a little crafting table in the back so you can, um, you know, make stuff too. Scrooge McDuck will also have quests for you to, you know, build a better stand for Goofy and stuff like that as well. Super chill game, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I've been playing a whole lot of, I just, like I said, I just checked it out for a moment and, you know, I've been playing it uh, pretty regularly here. So um, I know a lot of people are talking about it. And I've, I've asked a few other friends, and they're like, oh, are you playing this game too? They're like, what's that game? I haven't heard of that game yet. Well, that's why I'm saying, here is this game. <laughs> it's free on Game Pass right now if you have Game Pass. Uh, but you can also purchase it for uh, PlayStation, like I did too. Why not? If you're looking for more games that not a lot of people have heard of, make sure you click on this video and check some of those games out. And I hope you're subscribed. We'll see you again real soon.